You don't know Bad man Yeah, yeah, yeah These body baby What's up ladies? Welcome back to the channel It's your girl Wigs to Waist Length And your girl's hair is poofing up just a little bit we are not going to pay attention to that. Um, but this is a very exciting review for me personally because this is like an old school unit redone. And I am so excited. Big shout out to wigtypes.com for sending out the unit. Definitely appreciate it. They sent your girl two units. So this is the first one that I'm reviewing today. This is in the style Bisa duh as you guys see in the title she was all the rage when she came out maybe like five years ago whoo child okay so y'all know i love you right so only for y'all would i pull up this unit this is this is like a serious blast from the past this was my review on the original bisa way back in the day when i had my first channel the texture on her was so bomb i loved the texture on bisa it did have like a kinky straight human hair quality to it it was really soft and this was a super long unit if i'm not mistaken this unit came down to like my butt no lie i definitely wanted to put this in here just so you guys could have an understanding especially if you're new to wigs you'll have an understanding of what the original bisa look like this is a frontal so i am very very excited to see what we have in store with this unit um and it's part of their melt transparent natural hairline 13 by 6 frontal part line um so it does have transparent swiss lace 100 percent hand tied you have this in the color 1b I did go ahead and tint the lace on this unit off camera. And if you guys want information for that, I'll leave a description of what I use uh, down below. I do believe I used just my makeup foundation for this review. Yes, I did use it. <laughs> I used my Fenty foundation to tint the lace for uh, Miss Bisa. In the beginning, I made a little face. We're gonna go into that in a minute, but I did wanna talk about this install. So I'm actually gonna be showing you guys a little different install than the one I did on Asia. If you missed that review, I'll definitely have a link for it in uh, the description box as well as somewhere in this video right about now. Um, so the install I did on Asia was more advanced. This one will be more beginner friendly. Now you will notice that with this method, I can't, well, me personally, I can't cut as close to the hairline as I would like to. Um, and that is simply because the lace is not anchored. It will make sense once you guys see the finished product. Um, I am also gonna utilize some of the baby hairs for this unit. You do not have to do that. If you want this to look as natural as possible without the baby hairs, totally understandable, you can do that. So I will be using the got to be gel as long as as well as the free spray to get this lace to lay down on my head. I do prefer the other method more than this one simply because it's so much easier. It looks like it's more advanced, but it's so much easier to lay your frontal and it actually lasts a little bit longer.
let's talk about Miss Visa. Very comfortable cap on this unit. In my opinion, it is big and friendly. No issues cutting the ear tabs on Miss Visa. They pretty much fell in an okay spot. Uh, you will have to possibly go in and just trim a little bit off depending on your head size the lace on here it felt similar to the lace on asia but a little softer so i don't know what the issue was with that the frontal on here says yes the absolute best part about visa is the parting space says there is no limit to the different styling options you have with miss bisa this is not the bisa texture that i remember from the original unit quick paddle brush of this unit and you're good you're good sis until bam then them tangles hit and it is all because of this silky texture it is what it is for the price. I think it's reasonable, but this is like maybe two, three, maybe four days in a row before you might have to start searching on YouTube for how to refresh your wig, if you know what I'm saying. Um, but she's okay. She's okay. She's going to get like the little shimmy. She's going to get the little shoulder shimmy for me. She is not going to get the full hot girl dance right now. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you are interested in checking out Miss Bisa, I have a direct link in the description box down below. Thank you so much to all of you for tuning in. Big shout out to Wig Types for supporting your girl on this channel. It means a lot. So definitely hit them up. All their information in the description box down below. As always, ladies, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Let's chat in the comments down below. And as always, ladies, keep wearing it with confidence. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. And before I get to the Instagram shout outs, I do want to give a big shout out to KK Lux. If you are not familiar with this brand, it is black owned, black a female woman owned cosmetics company by the one and only Kiba Kenyatta. So a uh, big uh, thank you to her for um, taking that leap because I have been enjoying her lip gloss. Um, so I do want to start something new on my channel where I do shout out some black owned brands. So if you know one, uh, definitely let me know down below of course this will be brands that i have tried myself um, so if you are interested in seeing more black owned brands shout it out uh let's talk in the comments let me know down below all right everyone time for some shout outs so big thank you to get made uh aisha joy w beauty lexi xo shania monet selena for sure Thank you so much for the likes. Definitely appreciate it. If you are interested in following me on Instagram, I will have a direct link in the description box down below. Thank you to all of you for tuning in. As always, ladies, keep wearing it with confidence. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one.